It is Saturday, finally Saturday, slow Saturday. Um, I'm feeling a whole lot better than I did last week. The coughing has subsided, my chest is just about fine. I'm just really battling the effects of the medication at the moment. Because I don't have a spleen, when I do get sick, my treatment is a lot more aggressive than that of the average person. So it's high doses of cortisone at the moment and it really makes me feel bad. I'm a little bit bloated and um, I get, I call it a cortisone tongue. It feels as if my tongue is slightly swollen and I have a very funny taste in my mouth and everything that I eat or drink tastes off. So it's just, yeah, we're nearly done. I've got cortisone still on for Wednesday and then I should be okay. All right, so what have I been doing this week? I haven't been crocheting on lock cabin patches, I tell you. I haven't touched it. If I feel so bad, then crochet is not my go-to craft. Crochet, especially when I'm designing something like that, takes far more concentration that, than what I have would have been able to give this week. So I did not crochet. But I did work on the Henley. But I didn't work on my Henley. Pfft. Yeah. Okay, so I got this glorious idea to think. Maybe if I design it in a miniature for a baby, then I can test my own pattern when I make it for me. So I did that. So first off, this is the yarn that I bought from... An appetite in Paris. Um, it is wool and flus. If you translate it, it's wool and flax is, is the indie dyer. And I'm very impressed with her colors. I'm very impressed with her dyeing skills. Um, there was no residual dye coming off on my fingers while I was knitting, especially with this very dark brown. And even when I rinsed it out afterwards also, there was... Um, absolutely no um, residual coming off um, onto the fingers or anything like that so that is quite nice okay so obviously I made the hose and mats again because I just love these baby pants and they're so quick to knit up and and they work so well so this is the hose and mats you can see it's a very nice um, baggy pant for a baby even if the baby wears cloth diapers this one works quite well and she's got this double cuff at the bottom that you roll up and then as they grow you can just roll it down again and make the legs a little bit longer still if you need to. So I knitted for my grandson Nicholas this brown one and then I took the um, turquoise yarn and I made the Henley for him. Now you will see that this one has one by one rib. It has single rib around the neck. I didn't like that much. So that's what always happened with designing. You look at something and you think, oh, maybe I should have done it this way. So yeah, this actually gave me a good um, chance to do exactly that. Now that I've made the little ones, I will know what to do with mine. Okay, then I started the second set. And this is for the little girl that's currently in South Africa visiting from Sweden. She's now 14 months. So the th uh, this one is a bit bigger. Same pattern, Hosemat. And this is Naughty Habits Speckled Clusters. I love this yarn. I absolutely do. It is amazing to me that the colors have stayed so true amidst the background of grey, let me show it to you closely, they really really speckle up so nicely and they come out bright and cheerful. I absolutely love it. So I started to make her the same Henley but I changed the neck to a 2x2 two two ribbing. Now this one hasn't been washed, it hasn't been blocked, it's still curling and rolling or whatever. So the neck is better now for me, I've sorted that out. And then I ran out of yarn. Ha! So yeah, Omar has now put the sleeves onto barber cords. And I've ordered a single skein of this mustard yellow that's in here. And I'm going to do the sleeves with that. I just made a few rows of reverse stocking stitch. So that it will look like a sleeve under a short sleeve that comes out. 
So that's one way to do it. Okay, so now that I've done this, I exactly know what I want to do with mine. And mine is going to be in the, um, oh, let me pick it up, in the nice dark and um, peachy, orangey colors with the, the dark brown mohair, the, not dark brown, terracotta, what do they call it, hot spice, that. Um, and I can't wait to cast it on. Now, why haven't I casted it on? Because the knitting needle saga continues. Yo. I knitted the Let's Talk Purple on the Lantern Moon set. And I knitted this baby set for Nicholas on the Baby Moon set. And then I sold it. And the reason being, the cables are to die for. Fantastic. Nothing wrong with it. The needles are just a little bit too blunt for me. I'm used to working with lace tips. And those ones are just too blunt. And I knit too fast. So it was frustrating the shits out of me. So I sold it. So I'm without knitting needles again. I have ordered the... Um, knit Pro Ginger set from Yarn. Um, I have Knit Pro needles. This is what I used when I did the set. I have Knit Pro Cubics um, from very long ago. Uh, one has actually been broken and fixed. So they, oh, they fall out. They're very old, this set. <clears throat> um, I've had them for a couple of years already. And so I took them out. They were actually in storage at my daughter. So yeah, that's the Knit Pro Cubics. It's a square needle and you can't imagine how nice it is to work with a square knitting needle. I kid you not. But anyway, so I used those. And um, the cables that I had was these purple Knit Pro cable. Now this is the Knit Pro cable that I hate with a passion. I really can't freaking stand it. The plastic is hard and it doesn't relax at all. It's like a spring. And you're constantly fighting this cable while you're knitting. Now there's a black one that's much better. It's still plastic but the plastic is softer. It hangs better. It relaxes more. Now I know I can make a bowl of hot water and place the cable into the well, really really who has time for that type of shit when you're busy knitting now i need to change a cable now i must first go and warm it up no no okay so the plan is now the people in the know that has the set say the cables are nice and soft it's got a brown cable it's not a steel cable which is surprising to me because i saw on the International Knit Pro site that they do have steel cables coated with nylon. So why they don't put it in these fancy sets, I have no idea. But um, a friend offered me a ride for a parcel from America in November. So if this set is nice and I get along with it, I will get the steel cables um, to use with it. But um, I have a few Lantern Moon cables on order already that I ordered for extra for the Lantern Moon set that I might just keep for the Nipro set because the Nipro and the Lantern Moons are interchangeable. Okay, so that is still on the go. <clears throat> I hope to have the needles by Monday. They should be delivered by Monday. I was hoping for yesterday, but the courier just didn't make it, so I assume they will be here early Monday morning, and that will be glorious. So today, I'm going to sit with my crochet, and I'm going to do a log on the log cabin, and work on that today and tomorrow, while I don't want to knit. I prefer to wait now for my new needles to knit. Yeah, I can't wait for them to come and then I want to try them out and see what they like. So I'm still going to give you feedback on that next week again. Right, what else was there that I wanted to... Oh, I'm working 
I have told you about this. I'm busy with a video series of knitting in the round and I'm not sure what I want to call it. I think it's like I love watching MasterChef Australia. I really do. And they talk about a masterclass. So maybe I should call it a masterclass in knitting in the round giving you all the tips and tricks how to get the best out of knitting in the round and i've spoken about that on social video uh, media i've asked for people's input on what they want to include let me tell you what i've got listed at the moment already that will be in these videos um, and also for that i'm still waiting for a few pieces of uh, uh, what should we call it? Equipment. I still want to buy double pointed needles to demonstrate in the video. I still want to buy um, one of these bad circular needles that's available in South Africa that's made by L. It's disgusting. Um, and yeah, once I've got all of that, I can finish the videos. Okay, so there will be a video on tools and gadgets. Of working in the round and that will cover your your different knitting pins options that you have different um, makes the good ones the bad ones give you the in and out of it all I might not have physical examples to show you of all but I've had most of them in my hands at one time or another so I will be able to give you quite good um, information on that then there's going to be a video on the crochet cast on, which is my favorite cast on to use when I'm working in the round. Um, there's a video on changing color and stitch patterns without having a little distortion going up the line. There's a video on um, spiral knitting where you blend or fade yarns. There's a video on spiral knitting to alternate several colors. There's a video on spiral knitting to have garter stitch in the round without that little ditch that runs up. Uh, increases and decreases. Knitting with a magic loop. Knitting with a traveling loop. Knitting with double pointed needles. And then casting off in the round with an invisible join at the end. So I think that's 11 or 12 videos that's going to be in this masterclass. It will be available on my Patreon to the paid subscribers. If you do not want to join Patreon but you would like to get the masterclass, it will be published on Crubly as well for a once-off purchase. But yeah, there's still a little bit of work to go in there, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm just waiting for my new knitting pins. Okay. <clears throat> I think that's about everything from me today is a short and sweet episode. I don't have much to show because this week was just laying around and feeling grudgy. <coughs> but we're getting there, we're getting there. Yes, we are. Okay, if I get my knitting pins on Monday, I will surely post a photo on social media. And um, I will definitely cast on my Henley immediately. I can't wait to knit my Henley. Especially now that I've seen the little ones and it's it's what I had in my head is now here and it's working the way I want it to work so I'm very very happy with it. I can't wait to now just knit up my own. Yes. Okay. So you must have a glorious and a wonderful week. Um, I hope you enjoy the videos. Let me know in the comments if you do. Oh, if you have a question for me specifically, ask the question in the comments and I will try to answer the question in the video for next week. Whatever it is, knitting or crochet related, it doesn't matter, or related to my designing or whatever, it doesn't matter. And um, yeah, then I will try to answer your questions for you. Okay, great. You must have a wonderful week and when I see you again, hopefully I will have a Henley to show you.